People, what is up? Welcome back to our <laughs> channel once again. It's me, your bearded bro, Cook Silver 15, back with another video. And today we'll be going down the rabbit hole and finally getting into the conclusion of this really awesome series. And of course, it's none other than. in Borderlands Season 2, Part 2. Uh, so it is the final season of Borderlands, I think. Hopefully, I'm not sure. They kind of left a cliffhanger in the end. But again, the story pretty much is wrapped up at this point. And I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. And we do go get a lot of action and gore as you would expect from uh, Alice in Borderlands Season 2. Pretty much uh, similar to the first one. So this season actually still revolves around the, the main character Arisu as he tries to figure out what the hell kind of place he's in and of course he has his new friends Usagi and the rest of the crew Chishia, Quina and and just so many more and the rest of the powerhouse survivors of the first season and now they're teaming up together to finally put an end to the games or at least discover if they will be able to go home and now they're facing off the big bosses of the borderlands world they are called the face cards or the kings and the queens uh, they are actually called citizens of the world so uh, they each of these citizens uh, come up with their own game and the players need to find a way to beat them and in order to get all the face cards and after all the face cards have been defeated essentially they are told they will find out the truth about the world and yeah whether or not they will be able to go home so alice in borderlands it's just an amazing series and season 2 is no different. Uh, the acting was awesome. I love all the main cast. All, there is a major twist near the end so we're not gonna talk about that. But yeah, that was amazing in the second to the last episode. will just shock the shit out of you and I just loved it. <laughs> and it was just such a surprise. And yeah, a lot of shocking moments this season. For the most part, you kind of know that the main cast will survive because they are the coolest, the main badass survivors from the first season. And yeah, a lot of the games were super fun to watch. And I think it is, I don't know, maybe it is a little bit better than Squid Game. At least the season 2 for Borderlands doesn't make sense. I don't know if the season 2 of Squid Game will make sense essentially, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will be awesome as well. And yeah, moving back to the topic. Yeah, the acting was great. All the characters were awesome. A lot of character growth. Um, I think there are a lot more talking involved in season 2 of Alice in Borderlands compared to the first season but they really did uh sneak up all the character development in season two so it's kind of a good and bad thing because i think they could have you know divided it between season but yeah maybe it's only now when they were shooting season two that they thought of because they needed to conclude every character and they needed you to get to know a lot of the main characters this season because you know most of season one we were focusing on Arisu and his friends and we weren't really able to see the backstories of for example Chishia, Quina and of course Usagi so getting the characters to develop in season 2 was I think a good call especially during the end uh, it really makes you feel attached to the characters cinematography wise it is still amazing how they do shoot in the middle of Tokyo or wherever that is i've never been to japan so yeah they shot in a very busy japanese area and they just somehow made all the people disappear and yeah for a cg generated world it looks 
pretty darn awesome. Going over a bit of the ending of Alice in Borderlands, we now do get to see a lot of references to Alice in Wonderland and I think that was pretty cool. The last game was... Oh well, I shouldn't talk about it but it is, is a direct reference to Alice in Wonderland with the Queen of Hearts hearts as well. It is a game they play in the original story and I think uh, Alice in Borderlands does play around a lot of the idea that Wonderland was a place where Alice went to get over a certain trauma so you know there are certain theories floating around that Alice was a victim of sexual abuse you know she made up uh, Wonderland to be able to cope with that uh, scenario in her head so they played a lot around that near the end of the series and they went full on original Evangelion last two episodes of this one where you know what happened to Sinji where he is just questioning reality and his morals and his identity and what is life and what is reality and they went full on I can't even explain it they went head first into just full-blown Sinji midlife crisis identity crisis type thing near the end of this season and they do give you know a lot of the fan theories um, about this series where it's aliens it's a rich man rich society gambling over who survives like squid game is it Again, aliens, is it, is it VR, is it, you know, a lot of really crazy theories that they played over, you know? They went through all the endings and then they finally revealed the real ending and I think the real ending was actually very brilliant, very smart and it does make sense and it's awesome and I loved it. I loved every minute of this series. So we're giving Alice in Borderlands just as a whole season 1 and 2 a solid 10 out of 10. I do love the characters. Although if you're gonna argue a lot of the games could have been won in a smarter way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they probably could. Could have beaten this certain boss early on. Yeah, they probably could if they really thought about how they were gonna do it. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of that uh, and a lot of times they won games uh, where they shouldn't have. Yeah, so a lot of heavy plot armor going on in this series but still I love it. Actually fine, now that I've thought about it we're taking down a point I'm just giving it a 9 out of 10 because of weird Ex Machina plot holes, plot devices, and plot armor going around, uh, which, you know, they shouldn't have won that, you know, this particular game where it's like tag, they shouldn't have won that. <laughs> Inspiration is not a thing in dire situations like that, you know? I don't know. A lot of the games, again, they shouldn't have won. Uh, the one with Shishia twice is just pure luck. He won by luck and they tried to play it out as, oh, he's so smart. No, no, it's just luck. <laughs> he is one lucky bastard. So again, it could have played out like that. You know, it's still awesome. It's still kind of cool. Smart the way they did it. They kind of made him look smart, but again, odds. He does play the odds against just minimizing the risk and yeah, so again, he's kind of smart but again, it all depended on luck. I think a 9 is a, a good score for Alice in Borderlands Season 1 and 2. What do you guys think? Have you seen it? Which one do you like better? Squid Game or Alice in Borderlands or both? I do love both. So yeah, let us know down in the comments below and let us know what you think, what you have to say about Alice in Borderlands. And again, it's me, your bearded bro, Quicksilver15, signing off. Peace.